Hello natural beauties, welcome to my channel. My name is Nat and today I have an Ulta haul for you. I think it is pretty extensive, but it is only skincare and hair care products. Now the reason it is so large is because I have not been to an Ulta, a Sephora, a beauty supply store in over one year. So I'm super proud of myself, but I was running out of stuff left and right. So I had a few things that I needed. I needed some vitamin C uh, serum or a tone I also needed some retinol and I definitely needed some hair stuff. I don't know if you can tell but I'm growing out my grays so my hair is all natural right now and I really like the look of them. They're just nice and white and silvery and since I have let my hair go natural and I haven't dyed it at all my hair has become so much stronger, so much healthier, my curls are just uh, so much prettier but if my hair looks dull or dry it is just not cute so I needed something to add some moisture to nourish and definitely to add some shine plus at the end of this video I'm gonna show you a few items that I finished which kind of prompted me to need to go to Ulta so I have a few different sections because September was my birthday month and so you get double the points and so there were items that I couldn't find in the store and I had to get them online plus there were some items that I found online that I could only get online and then when I went into my store and did some shopping I got a coupon for 10% off if I ordered and picked up uh, at the store ordered online and then pick up at the store so um, we're gonna do a few different uh, little bundles here so let's go ahead and get started and we will see what we got I have a whole bunch of brand new brands in here we're gonna start with one of those. This is Flora and Noir, or Noor, and this is their Bright Side Serum, and it is a vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. And everything that I ordered here is either, were mostly because I like the ingredients. Like this one, I think it has, uh, well, I guess that's not the one, but um, the ingredients, or because they are cruelty-free, vegan, and, uh, or because I've tried them before and they worked really well. So this is the ingredient that I was thinking about. I don't know how to pronounce it, y'all, but it's Bukiol, B-A-K-U-C-H-I-O-L. I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, that one right there. But this is another brand new brand for me. My store did have this on site, but they didn't have this product. It was just sold out. And so I had to get this online. This is Eczema and Honey Sensitive Skin Solution Nighttime Renewal Face Cream with Retinol, Bacuol, and Reservatol. Visibly firm, resurface, and lift, improve tone and texture. And so I'm hoping to use this as my nighttime moisturizer. And then this was only available online. It's called, it's called Lang. L-A-N-G-E. It is the Miracle Lightweight Conditioning Shine Spray. And again, I just really wanted to add some life to my hair because if it's dull, no bueno. And then I love the Not Your Mother's line. I have tried so many of their products, their curl gels, their curl creams, leave-in conditioners, and I have liked them all. Plus they are so reasonably priced. So um, I, this is new to me. This is the 10 in one All Eyes on Me Hair Perfector. And it is supposed to have 10 instant benefits, including detangles 450 degree heat protection helps restore dry hair controls frizz moisturizes adds shine helps prevent split ends nourishes creates silkiness and softens so i'm really uh excited to try that i hope it does all those things now that was everything that i got online now we're going to move into the items that i bought in my personal store and we're going to start with probably my favorite product of this whole haul you ever watch those videos by GQ where they're like 10 things some famous person or athlete cannot live without? Well, this is something I could never ever live without, y'all. This is a nail brush and um, I needed a new one, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger and I love a nail brush. If I get these in my stocking, I am just as happy as can be. So I got a new one. Now, this is another brand new brand for me and initially I wasn't going to buy this particular item. I was going to buy it, but like in the lavender scent, you know, I went online on Ulta and um, I just kind of added a whole bunch of favorites 
favorites and then after doing all that shopping I went to the favorites that I had favorited and then I kind of weeded stuff out and chose from there what I was going to put into my basket and so I did have this product but not this mango papaya and coconut one it was like a lavender one but or no hibiscus it was hibiscus but i'm not a big hibiscus fan and when i got to the store this one specifically said for frizzy hair and you know that is a huge battle for me so i was like all right frizzy hair that's me all right let's do it plus i liked the scent better so i picked this one up it is the haitian black castor oil it is to promote thicker hair longer hair and to hydrate and smooth skin and I believe they said you could use this directly on your hair you could use it on your scalp or you could use it on your skin and I don't know about thicker hair because I got enough hair I don't need it thicker but all the other stuff I could definitely uh, benefit from but I'm excited because I have heard good things about castor oil and your hair so I picked that up and then I got this big old big old smoothie it is uh, I think it's like a conditioner or maybe a mask it is by Shea Moisture it is the coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie with silk protein and neem oil and then this is another brand new brand for me this is professional Sebastian and this is the whipped cream light conditioning style whip and yeah it's just a mousse but um, we'll see how that goes I can't remember the last time I used an actual mousse on my hair but when I get my hair done my beautician if I tell him just to leave it curly um, because I don't want to sit there for like a, a blowout he will use mousse on my hair and it looks okay I think for me because I deal with curly hair every day um, it looks better when I do it but if I'm in a rush and I don't want to sit there as long as it takes you know for him to do like a blowout and stuff um, he will use mousse on my hair and it does look okay so I thought I would try some mousse and then another item from that same professional Sebastian line is Trilliant and it is the thermal protection and sparkle complex and there it is right there and again it's just something to add a little life a little shine to my hair and I just love this color y'all I know that has nothing to do with my hair but that's one of my favorite colors I love pastels so I did run out of hairspray and um, I don't know why I, I bought these but I'm so used to aerosol hairspray and so my concern is well first off yes I don't know how I bought a larger one and a smaller one but I ended up with two of the same items and I'm concerned about the spray because when I straighten my hair when I curl when I leave my hair curly I don't use hairspray I just let it curl and dry but um, when I straighten my hair I need like volume and so that's when I'll use um, hairspray but if these sprays the drops are too big it'll make my hair curl so that's my concern with the way that it sprayed as opposed to the aerosol because like if it's raining outside and I run like from my car to the house or my car to the, to the, the store um, wherever the water hits my hair it'll start curling and it'll just kind of from there kind of kink up get frizzy and just start curling so I will see at the end of this video if it does that but I don't think so because it would have already started doing it you would start seeing my waves kind of come out so hopefully this will do exactly what it's what I thought it would do because it's supposed to be firm style freeze and shine super spray maximum hold finishing spray and I don't know if finishing spray is the same as hairspray so I guess we will see now um, here is another not your mother's product I'm telling you I really like that brand they are reasonably priced they work well on my hair I think they changed this bottle because I've tried it before but I don't remember it being a pink bottle but this is the long and strong way to grow leave-in conditioner and it is made with vitamin B keratin and biotin and then these next couple of products I've already started using and um, so they're already open they've got some use to them this is my first good molecules I was gonna say minerals my first good molecules product and this is a hyaluronic serum hyaluronic acid serum it delivers deep hydration to plump the appearance of fine lines and here is the good molecules product and this can be used in the morning and at night and it is also cruelty free 
So, and it's such a nice big bottle. So I felt like the price for the amount was definitely a good deal. And then this is Course RX. And initially I was looking for one of their like snail serums, but it was sold out in my house and then it was sold out in my store. And then when I was shopping online, I just forgot about it. So I didn't end up getting it at all. But this is the AHA BHA Vitamin C Daily Toner. You can see I've been using it. The toner that I'm currently using, I'm almost out of, but um, I think it's a little harsh on my skin. And so I've gone from using it pretty much every day to use it maybe two to three times a week and using this more often. But I definitely want to keep using the other one because I want to hurry up and finish it. But so far, so good. And like I said, I needed some vitamin C. And then now we're going to go into the items that I ordered online to pick up at the store with my 10% off coupon. And look, another Not Your Mother's product. Now, I think this is not only new to me, but I think this is a new actual product, like to alter or whatever. They just created this. Um, so this is Not Your Mother's Hydrating Sleep On It Serum Cream made with plant-derived squalene and mushroom extract. Long-lasting hydration for all hair types. And I went ahead and picked that up. Intense moisture, sweet dreams, fragrance, vegan, and cruelty-free. And then I've tried or used this Aveeno face, face wash before. And so uh, I went ahead and got it again. I, it was on sale, I wanna say it was like 10 bucks. This is the Aveeno Calm and Restore for Sensitive Skin Nourishing Oat Cleanser. And I like that it's in a pump because um, a lot of times I will either wash my face in the shower or I'll wash my face at my sink and then get in the shower and just kind of wash my face again. But the soap that I've been using is like a lightning soap because I still get acne, y'all. And I got it on sale. It was a two pack on Amazon. Again, probably dur during like the Amazon deal days or whatever. But um, it like when it dries, it will like plaster and glue itself to the little soap dish. And so it's been really hard. And as I try and like get it off the soap dish, I'm losing like pieces of the soap. Does that make sense? And so um, I pulled it out of my shower and I've been using it at my sink, but I still really want something for in my shower. So I think that's where I'm going to put this one. And like I said, I've used a version of this before. I'm not sure if it was the exact same thing, but I know it was the Aveeno Oat Cleanser. So I went ahead and picked that up. Now these, uh, well, this item is new to me. It is a brand new brand for me. It is Fourth Ray Beauty and it is their Renewal retinol and again that same product that was in I think the eczema honeybee looking one that Bacuol serum retinol and Bacuol serum for youthful baby soft skin firming soothing and for nighttime use and here is the bottle right there and like I said I just needed some retinol and then lastly this is also a brand new brand for me this is Andrew Fitzsimmons Fantasy Curls Nourishing Serum with amino acids for 3A to 4C hair type, for 3A to 4C curl types. And there were a few other items by this brand that I wanted to try, but they were all sold out. So I feel like that's always a good thing, right? If they're all sold out, then everybody's looking for them. And I could see like the actual little, um, you know, tags where they should have been there in stock, but they weren't. Oops, I just dropped that. Um, but here is the bottle. I feel like this reminds me of like something my mom used to, to use. Maybe like a vanity, no, not vanity fair. What is that? There was some kind of um, fashion, fashion fair. I don't know, some makeup line my mom used to use. But here it is. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, so it's just got a little pump right there. I'm excited to um, try this. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the items that I saved because, you know, I finished them and I have been going through other stuff. Like I can think of two Bath and Body Works, like um, lotions, body butters or whatever that I've gone through. But I'm hoping to move in the next like year or so. So I'm really trying to just get stuff out of the house and I hadn't been recording on YouTube, so I hadn't been saving my stuff. But like I said, I was finishing stuff and I knew that I needed to do a haul soon. So I put some stuff to the side to show y'all. So this is just some makeup wipes and I haven't been wearing a whole lot of makeup because I've been working from home 
and I have also uh, it's been really hot here in Texas and I am one of those sunblock nerds so when I do go out I will reapply sunblock and if I'm wearing makeup it's hard for me to reapply sunscreen you know so um, if I know that I'm gonna be out for a while I'll just do my skincare put on some sunblock and put it in my purse go do my thing and then when it occurs to me I'm like oh let me pour more sunblock on and I'll do that but I hesitate to do that if I have makeup on so you know wearing makeup is kind of outweighed by my concern for uh, the need for sunblock because it's been so hot in Texas y'all but I say all that to say that I haven't really been using a lot of makeup but I know that these are not filled with the best ingredients so I used to get these on sale at Kroger like they're five for whatever deals and I think I have maybe like two or three packs left but I want to hurry up and finish them and honestly I'll probably never buy them again because you know I'm a woman of a certain age and I just need better uh, skincare products if I'm being honest and then we have my moisturizer I bought this the last time that I shopped the Ulta 21 days of beauty this is the Clinique dramatically different hydrating jelly anti-pollution moisturizer and they were 50% off during the Ulta 21 days of beauty this may have been like not last year but that year before but because they were 50% off I went ahead and bought two but I finished this one and I have another one that I'm gonna be using and opening very uh, soon here so uh, now we have this Amica it's like a mask gift set or something I'm not sure you know sometimes stuff just gets pushed to the back or it falls behind other stuff or we just forget about it and so I had used uh, these two products here this is one of my favorite hair masks it's the Amica soul food hydrating mask but uh, when I found this again I ended up using this one up which completed the whole little pack this is the Amica flash instant shine mask and you know and I do like Amica products but especially that soul food mask right there and then we have some ordinary products this is retinol 0.2 percent squalene and I finished that I also finished their Matrixel 10 percent HA I finished that up and then I also finished these peach slices acne spot dots I'm telling you guys I don't know why I'm over 40 and I still get acne it's just so frustrating but I finished this and I had bought these from Amazon it was probably like during their Amazon deal days or whatever but these are lit bear acne patches and these are the thin flexible ones for during the day this comes with 60 patches and it's got four sizes available and then these are thicker and they are for nighttime and this has 120 patches and it also has four different sizes as well and then lastly we well not lastly second to lastly <laughs> is this Milbon smoothing shampoo for medium hair and I get this from my hairdresser and um, I also had the conditioner but I already kind of cut that open and dug everything out and so I ended up tossing that but I'm just now finishing the shampoo I always finish my conditioners first so I tend to keep like an extra conditioner so like that when I use up my really good ones at least I have that one to supplement me in case I need like a week or two before I can go get some conditioner and now is lastly my hairspray that I finished and so this is big sexy hair spray and play uh, I was gonna say shampoo spray and play hairspray and so uh, it's volumizing and like I said it takes me forever y'all forever to use up hairspray because I don't use it when I leave my hair curly which I usually leave my hair curly but um, that is everything y'all so let me know your thoughts your opinions what do you think on these brands what do you think on these particular products and what do you use yourself thank you all so much for being with me just know that I am sending you positivity and I hope that you are doing what you love and I will talk to you next time bye y'all